Hello everybody and welcome back to Silverrun Forest. We're amongst the redwood trees and it's looking beautiful in the snow. It's probably the only map where I want it to be snowy because normally we're trying to drill or harvest or something uh, if we're not playing with seasonal growth and yeah the snow just isn't ideal. But this map really suits it. It looks brilliant. So today what I'm going to try and do is build the iron furnace so we can start transferring iron ore from the mine to our production. It does cost £180,000, so if I don't find a collectible beforehand, then we're going to have to just... Ex well, actually, not, not extend the loan, take out a loan. I did fully repay it. Um, now, I have been recording these videos in bulk, so if anybody has seen a collectible and I've missed it, then I might have seen your comment like, after this video has been recorded. So, um, yeah, I will then address that missed collectible in a future episode, and we will pick it up. So, yeah, it's just over here. Since we don't have any money coming in ready from the redwood trees, um, if they are in the way still, I will just basically remove them. But not many. Only if we really have to. Uh, that tree there will have some wood in it, so that would be one to keep, which is why I've still got the trailer here. But, yeah, um... I don't think there's going to be much chance of finding a collectible. I don't think there's uh, any that I know of, sadly. So let's just, for now, borrow... How much would it be? £55,000. Uh, it's not going to fit. Definitely not going to fit just yet. Um, although it's still worth trying. It will just give me a better idea of which trees need to be uh, moved. So production, and then we need to find the iron furnace, just here. I guess also we might have to do a bit of terrain leveling. Overlaps with another object. Uh, yeah, so I'm just get this area sorted out. Okay, so hopefully this is acceptable. I was actually going to put it the other way around, but then realised that yeah, this part of the premises would be on the incorrect side. It wouldn't even be possible to get into here because of this cliff face. We are going to have to build up this corner a bit. Uh, not a big problem at all, but actually it looks quite natural. It looks like it's been here for a while. It looks good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just need to, well, we'll leave it for now, um, but obviously at some point we need to build this up a bit and um, yeah, improve the look of things a bit. But let's just go over to the mine shaft and get some more. I have already filled up the trailer. Yeah, that's the uh, the pile of trees that I cut down. We'll keep those for now. Whoa, I didn't think you could actually see through there. Is that the furnace itself? It must be. So incoming materials, iron ore. Outgoing products, metal. This is really good. Metal is expensive. And metal is required for the um, roller coaster. Actually, it might be required for the yacht as well, but I haven't even looked at the yacht yet. Now, do I need to return this? I think I probably should return this lorry. Well, I certainly return the trailer. Because those trees can just stay there for now. Yeah, we may still need the tractor unit. Possibly. Because this dumper is going to be quite slow. Oh yeah, of course we can't tab to it. Uh, it's this one here. No, it's not. It's the other one. <laughs> I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So yeah, 5,400 litres. And this machine does have a beacon. Now although we're actually very close to our premises, I need to work out which road to go on. So it looks like probably this one over here. And then we'll come back, we'll load up again. But if we could just have like an articulated lorry, uh, like a big trailer, just to fill it up once, really full, and then take it over there, that would be brilliant. But we have to use these for now because these are actually free. These do come with the mine, so it, it's great. Really love that we can use these. Okay, uh, left here. But we get to do all of this in a beautiful environment. And also, frustratingly, we have to go all the way down to go all the way back up again. Uh, I say frustratingly because I should think with a full load of iron ore, 
this machine will only achieve a few miles per hour. Train line. Here's the first person view. Normally when I get to the train line, the train comes and hits me, or almost hits me. I've been hit once. But it was my fault, I didn't look. Right, uh, left. Again, 50-50 chance, got it wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, once I've done this a few times, I will know which way to go without even thinking. But this is where it's going to get slower. Uh, but we're going to time up to the next load. Maybe next two loads. Unless, of course, we can't even get up there. Come on. I could put it into manual. The automatic shifting is never good for these situations. Same with spin tires, actually. Yeah, keeping it in a low manual gear was much more effective. Okay, it looks like it's going to achieve it. Hopefully. But it will take some time. We've made it. Did I snort like a pig? I do apologise. Well, we've almost made it. I just hope that from this we can make loads and loads of money. Certainly getting a higher horsepower machine is going to be very beneficial. And I would say this is output just here. I think I need to be around the other side. Just need to build up that bank there. It's not going to be difficult to do. Yes. Oh, it looks like a, such a fun slide, that. But it's probably a conveyor belt. Imagine sliding out of there. Oh, actually, there is a window. You would hit your head. So in it goes. Um, I think the production will have automatically started. It does tend to. Oh, okay, this time it didn't. It did with these. Well, that's activated. So, yeah, um, 416 litres of ore to 380 litres of metal. That actually seems really good. I was expecting it to be like, well, let's just say 100 litres of ore to maybe 20 litres of metal. Very good. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back, we'll load it up again. There is also a wheel loader. And we'll make another delivery or two. This is why I couldn't be further away. That's why I had to clear the plot here to build the business premises where it is. We would not want to be travelling any further. It's already quite slow. And we're back. So as you just saw, very slow. Extremely slow, probably hard to appreciate actually in the time lapse. But uh, yeah, we've got space for quite a lot there. Uh, what would it be, 100,000 litres? Maybe a bit less. So if we can use our lorry, that would be brilliant. We don't have much money, but there's things like, have to make sure it's actually compatible. Yeah, what, what sort of trailer should we use? Something like this. 
That would be amazing. Is it compatible with uh, ore? Yes, it is. Yeah, that would be so good. As long as it is compatible in every way. Hopefully it is. <laughs> uh, we can't actually afford to rent it. So, let's go and get it. This actually is the first time I've ever used this trailer. It's not something I use. But I do see it now as a great potential trailer for this job. Uh, right, so I'll put that cover back over. Because I know that ore is worth £10,000 for a 1,000 litres. And that seems extremely good. And when we saw the amount that gets consumed to the amount that gets turned into metal, that also was extremely good. I would imagine it's quite slow, the process, but if we can fill the production up, then we will hopefully be raking in the money. I suspect this lorry will also struggle going up that hill because it is really steep. But the difference is, we'll be carrying much more. So even if we do only go at three miles per hour like we were doing before, uh, yeah, the amount that's going to be delivered at the other end is much more significant. Five and a half thousand or five thousand four hundred against about sixteen and a half. I also went for this trailer because I know that this wheel loader is not the tallest ever. So it will be a bit more tricky to fill up a, a taller trailer. But we should have no problems here. Hopefully. Perfect. Yeah, so now the only thing I have to worry about is the unloading. Let's hope there's no issues there. So, yeah, not a bad wheel loader. Obviously, not a very big capacity, only a thousand litres, but then again, ore must be quite heavy, so it can't go having a huge bucket. It's like when you're moving road planings, you don't go uh, using a, a massive bucket, big grain bucket, because it's really heavy, really dense material. Obviously you can use a grain bucket, but then you won't fill it as much. Otherwise you're gonna be up on two wheels. Fantastic. A little bit sticky on that corner over there, but overall way faster and carrying much more. Uh, although I have to say it is so nice that we do have a machine given to us. Very helpful. So yeah, as I have no experience with this, I don't know which way it will tip. Oh, you can choose. Nice. So we'll go with tip side right. And I honestly don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. Yep. Or he, uh giving me the option to unload. Um, whoops. For some reason I didn't even notice that there. It's not in a great place, I have to admit, but yeah, we'll have to make do. That should be much better. So here we go. It shouldn't spill. So fast too. So currently we are 27,000 litres in there and we actually have 176 litres of metal already. Very nice. Because I'm only playing in uh, real time so that is significant. I think the best thing to do is just to fill it to the top. Um, sounds like a big job but actually I don't think it is. And probably 30,000 is about that. It looks like 60,000 is probably uh, the capacity of this. So. That is my plan, just basically use this trailer today to get it to 100%. And actually what I could do 
is then dump another load where the snow is and then shovel that across with the wheel loader. Because then it's up here. Then we can feed it as and when it requires it. I know that it's going to be an entire episode of mining ore, but it's worth it. It really is going to be worth it. But I'm most likely on the jump cut. The journey's here. We don't need to keep seeing the journey every time. Back at the mine shaft. If I'm correct with my estimate, two full loads is what it's going to take. So one to uh, get it to almost full, and then probably just three or four thousand litres at the second load to um, get it to 100%. And then the rest of that second load can be dumped on the ground. After that, it'll probably be worth resting because we'll have our other production working, and obviously this will be working. And in the morning, we should have quite a lot of metal and also the snow might have melted we have had snow now for three episodes yeah it's getting a bit chilly and if I'm not mistaken it's almost 17 bucket loads to get this full and steady. This Volvo Globetrotter really does perform well. I wish we could buy it, but sadly we can't. But maybe, once we've uh, produced loads of metal, we will be able to buy it. It is something that would be very handy. Certainly don't want to be renting it every time. In fact, this setup would be great, because then we only have to do the topping up of the iron ore quite rarely. And, um, yeah, it would give us time to focus on other productions. Speaking of productions, that corner there, that would have probably been a better place to put our production. I'm fairly sure that I do own it. Let's just see. Yes, just there. So we'll put a different production there, I should think. I didn't actually notice it when I was uh, trying to find a good place. And maybe even there, actually... Do we own that? Yes, we do. Typical. So I, I've gone right to the top of the mountain. Or the hill. It's not a mountain. It's not really a mountain, is it? It's more of a hill. But it is good to see that we do have space for at least two more productions on this piece of land. And we, we do have some trees as well to cut down, but we're going to focus on the other land for the trees. I don't think we need to take any more down here. Okay, right, just get around this corner once again. And, yeah, if my calculations are correct, we're going to be sort of 90% uh, full, approximately. So what would it be? 50-ish? 43. Further than I was thinking, actually, that. Um... Yeah, so anyway, the, th the next load will fill it, but we're not going to have quite as much as I anticipated to put on the ground. Okay, 16,800 litres coming again. That's definitely the most difficult bend to get round. And with the time passing, it will also be consuming it, and it, it looks like it is consuming it quite quickly. Brilliant. Yep, so it did take it away. It's actually at its limit now. It is 60,000 litres by the look of things. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and get another load. It'll probably be dark when we get back. But that's not the end of the world. Oh, how much metal? 621. I think at that rate, we'll be getting a few pallets by tomorrow morning.
We probably won't be visiting here again for a while. I, although actually we do need the debris crusher. Need to scoop up the stones. A few people said we should just use these two machines to scoop up the stones. And yeah, I guess. I guess it would work. We seem to have access to them. I'm not supposed to use them for that, but <laughs> nobody's here to tell us otherwise. So yeah, we'll use this to scoop up our stones when we're ready to do that. There's probably very little money in them. So yeah, not going to be rushing to do that at all. I wonder if it's ever going to stop snowing. Well, one day. Not in the foreseeable future. Maybe in a few months' time. Wow. Look at this. The entrance to the mine. I just had to get into here. Have a closer look. I love the chimes of actually model everything. They're just expecting somebody to break in. They've, they've put a massive amount of effort into this map. Uh, right, let's boundary break even further. Well, kind of boundary break. Oh, they've thought of this. They knew somebody would try and get past. Well, I'm going to try and get past again. Have they put some kind of collision? I, oh. They have. Why? Okay, well, it's it's very well done. It looks brilliant. Okay, right. So this is our last load. I'll fill it up as much as I can do. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a great deal of space. In we go. Right. So that was very little, less than a thousand litres. So now I'm just going to have to create a pile here. The action can't be performed. Please. Please perform. Otherwise that makes it very difficult. Maybe it's because there's snow. Okay. I can only think that is the snow that's doing that because it's our land and yeah it's just dumping out so I think if I just go into construction landscaping painting uh, try and match that texture is it that one there right it hopefully will work now I can't guarantee it Yes, okay. Thank you, Snow, you've cost me money. But using this trailer has saved us money. So I must return this. We're about to get up to an hour on the rental, which is obviously no good. <laughs> That's going to cost us loads. And once we're ready, we can start to scoop this up and put it into there. Oh, look at that. We have coils of, well, a coil of metal. I bet it's really heavy. 1.3 tons. That's what it shows. Yeah, really heavy stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will build that up. But just as an example, that is a thousand liters. It calls it a thousand pieces. Uh, and that will generate for us, if we sold it right now, around 10,000 pounds. Let's just find metal. We'll be taking it over to the uh, roller coaster. 8,989, so the price has come down a bit. But still, that's a, a significant amount of money. It's very good. So, let's just quickly run over to the door. I'm going to rest in a minute. Yeah, that's full. We, we're actually on the way to the next pallet really quickly. We're home. Yeah, we haven't been here for a while. We've got plenty more to do. Sleep. And we'll see what the morning brings. No doubt, a, a bucket load of snow. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be snowing. Yeah, it is beautiful though. It's clearly a very snowy place. Oh wow, look how deep it is now. That's amazing. Right, um, if we're not too snowed in, let's get over to our iron furnace. 
getting very deep. Oh look, the snow has uh, settled again around the ore. Oh wow. Uh, right, so that is, <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Uh, way more than I was anticipating. So how much has it consumed? Hardly anything. This is fantastic. Right, so next time, most likely we have nine pounds. Next time we're most likely gonna be selling these. Um, the roller coaster is the obvious place for the first few, but then after that, whichever place is offering the most money. Elm Creek, 10,037 pounds. That's most likely the train, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.